This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at text animation in Apple Motion 5.4. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to apply basic motion behaviors to text. Everything that we know about how to find a text behavior, to apply a text behavior, to modify the text behavior by going to inspector behaviors in 2D text works with 3D text as well. But what happens if I don't want to work with one of the custom behaviors? I want to create my own. Here we've got a number of options and all of them are very cool. Let me illustrate. Notice I've selected a text, go up to behavior, go down to basic motion. Those that will help text the most are throw, spin, motion path, grow shrink, and fade in, fade out. Let's do fade in, fade out first. Go to the HUD because it's easiest to see, F7. This says that my text is going to take 20 frames to fade in and 20 frames to fade out at the beginning and end of the effect, not the beginning and the end of the text clip. If I want to make this a faster fade, grab the vertical line, drag left, and it now does a 10 frame fade in, and I want to have it do a 60 frame fade out. So we'll do a fade in, there's our 10 frame fade in, and there's our 60 frame fade out. I just click the mouse to save us some time because we all get easily bored and fade out. If you don't want it to fade out, grab the vertical line, drag it all the way to the right. It then fades in and falls off a cliff at the end. Why does it flash? Because I've got the repeat on right here, which means that it will always repeat playback rather than go to the end and stop. So we'll just have it repeat. So fade in, fade out allows me to add fade ins and fade outs to my text. Get rid of that. Next, behaviors, basic motion, throw. What throw allows me to do, and notice I've hit the space bar so the playhead is playing. I click, I say I want the text to move in the direction of the arrow. The direction of the arrow determines which way the text is moving. The size of the arrow determines how quickly the text is moving. And this text is flying at a fair rate of speed. Well, the nice thing about throw is it gives me movement in a specific direction, but the distance the text travels is based upon the size of the arrow and the duration of the effect. Sometimes I want to have it start at a very specific spot and end at a very specific spot. Throw is not the behavior for that. Instead, select our clip, Behaviors, Basic Motion, and we want to create a motion path. What a motion path does, I'm going to zoom back a bit here, is it gives me a starting position for my text, and it gives me an ending position for my text. So now as I play this, my text moves from its starting position, I'm just grabbing that dot, and moves down to its ending position. Again, the speed of that move is dependent upon the duration of the effect. The effect is an object and its duration determines speed. Well notice I have a straight line here. If I hold the Option key down and Option click on the red line, I add what's called a Bezier control point. Grab that control point and drag it. I now have the ability to set my text on a curve. And I could add another Bezier control point, click the Option key, so that our, our text is on a roller skate or a, what is it roller coaster yes we have our text on a roller coaster <laughs> you can see how often I don't go to theme parks another cool thing if you right mouse click or control click directly on no I want to select the edit okay hold it time out select the motion path there we go. Select the motion path and go to the adjust item tool or control click directly on here and notice I can set it to linear which means sharp corners or smooth. I'm control clicking on the control point. I can grab one of these handles and drag it to change the shape of the curve. Hold the shift key down to constrain movement to 45 degree angles. Hold the option key down and you're able to move one side of the curve at a time. Grab a point, you can change its location. Control click and you can delete the point, lock the point, or disable the point. So I can move this so it makes more sense for the animation that I want to create. 
throw throws the clip in a general direction, the duration based upon the length of the effect. Motion path allows you to create a starting point, ending point, and curves along the way. Another option is what's called basic motion grow shrink. This allows me, if I hit the space bar to play, click outside the box, I'm in the HUD, and the title gets bigger. Click inside the box, the title gets smaller. The larger, the farther outside the box you click, the bigger it grows. So those are basic motion behaviors that we can then combine to have the text fade in, move across the screen. We could have it rotate. We do that using behaviors, basic motion spin, show the HUD, which is F7. Click on the outside ring. The inside ring is going to affect 3D movement. There's a better way to do that. We'll talk about that in a minute. And what this says is over the duration of this effect, my clip will spin 45 degrees clockwise, or it'll spin 60 degrees counterclockwise, or 180 degrees clockwise. This represents how far the selected object will spin over the duration of the effect. It's exactly the same as any effect. The speed of an effect is dependent upon its duration. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at text animation in Motion 5.4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 246. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.